this, I guess, this is how it feels like to be in the closet. No, but seriously, let me, let me fix this. I grew up in Montreal, and when I was five years old, I had my parents that divorced. My mom found herself a new husband, and uh, I'm proud to call him my dad because he's the one who raised me with my mom. And uh, my father found himself another woman too. I'm half Latino, half Portuguese, so I'm mixed. I grew up being a very fortunate person in the family life because I love my family. We are really close. I grew up in my mom's family and they, until today, support me with everything. They were really cool about it. They love me no matter what. They have nothing but love for me. And they always told me to be whoever I want to be. As long as I don't end up in jail or hurting anybody. Growing up, I was really a shy person, to be honest. I, as much as I was happy in my family life, I was living kind of a nightmare in school because I was really considered as the loner because I was so shy that I didn't even used to talk to nobody. I was really somebody who was always in my corner, always doing my little uh, drawings and my papers. And I guess the, the kids used to make fun of me because they knew I was different and uh, I know that for a fact when I used to see boys play or talk to each other or joke around with each other I know I, I didn't fit in I knew for a fact I didn't fit in girls I more understood them right at the point that when they used to come to lunchtime there was always the table full of guys and I was always in this random table with all of these girls and I was the only guy, right? But you see, I used to be teased at and I used to be bullied because I was an outcast, I guess, of the boys. They used to tell me, oh, boy, what is this? You go with the girls. Oh, you're not normal. They used to be really mean. And that's when you realize that when you're a kid, you don't realize what you always say to people because you don't know what words have effect to others. But now it's the past i don't give a shit anymore but in that moment i remember it did something so bad to me that i don't know how many times i used to come back crying from school to my mom the best part of the day for me to be honest one day my parents came up to me they told me oh we're gonna move and i'm like where 25 minutes away from the city and i didn't look as a bad thing I was like, yes, I want to move because I want a new beginning. But you see, it's easier said than done because when I got there, everybody grew up with each other. But I was like the different guy, you know, because I I didn't grow up with them. They didn't know me, you know. So I had to actually force myself to actually try to get to know people who already had their mini little cliques, you know. And they, they welcomed me well. I mean... I found my really good friends over there. I love them so much. I was still a bit shy, but I had my little clique of friends that I made throughout the the small five years that I was there. But you see, in those five years, I had time to actually um, discover about myself. I started had my first little crush like around, I think, fourteen or fifteen, but. I didn't know exactly what it was, those feelings. I thought it was just my head playing tricks or, you know, or maybe I was going crazy or something, but I knew that no matter what, I had to keep it a secret because I didn't want nothing to happen in high school where I when they wanted to go back to the old days where I used to get bullied and especially, especially not in high school, honestly. That was my biggest fear. I didn't want nobody to know anything, so I used to keep those feelings to myself. That would have been like a big drama, like in high school specifically, when people like, especially in a small town, when people like talk and everything, I was afraid that my parents were like going to find out somehow. You never know how life is, you know? <laughs> in high school is the process in your life when you're trying to find yourself as a person. But the thing is, it seems like everybody knew it before me. Like once in a while, I used to have these people coming up to me, you know, and ask me, oh, um, 
have you ever a girlfriend or whatever? Have you ever had a girlfriend or are you seeing somebody? You know, and I was like, no, I'm not. I never had a girlfriend. You know, I used to tell them, well, I'm, I'll wait for the for the for the good one. You know, no stress or not really. I don't want to. I used to I used to say as jokes like, oh, don't want to have headaches. You know, <laughs> but the thing is, I. I think it's because of the fact that I, I knew I wasn't attracted to girls, you know, that way. One day we all graduate, a year or two after we graduated high school, I kept in touch still with my, my closest friends, which is like at least five or six girls, you know, and everybody was in college. I was in college too back then, and the thing is, I... I kind of had to tell somebody because so many years, so if you do calculations 14 years old till I was, what, 18 or 19, you know, and all these years with that deep secret hidden in me, I had to like get it out, right? So much years hidden, at one point it had to come out, like it all, like, I was going crazy, you know, and I had so much, so much anxiety anxiety that I was sick I made myself sick and um, the day that I came out to somebody everything started to change for the best that's for sure and uh, <laughs> I will always remember like it was yesterday I came out first to my one of my best friends, which is uh, Joe, and Joe, you will know who you are. Catching up with her that day was actually something special because we were talking about life and how it is and how college is different from high school and everybody's so accepting and open-minded and whatever. And something in my gut, okay, told me that it was the time to make somebody new about who you are, you know? I came out to her and told her, listen, Joe, I have something to tell you. And she was like, okay, sure, what's wrong? And I told her, listen, don't freak out, but and she's like, what's wrong? You're making me worried now. And uh, I told her, Joe, I like boys. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, I like boys. And why? Why don't you seem more surprised? She's like, well, I, no, I'm just, I kind of knew. I'm like, <laughs> that's when I knew that, of course she knew. As much as I used to always hide myself in high school, I don't regret it because I find everything happens for a reason. And it doesn't matter the time you take to come out or not. You can be either 12, you can be either 18 or 19 like I was. Or you can be 40 years old. Everything in in your life that has a timeline and you know the moment that you have to come out, you go right away. That's when you know because it's it's sad to say because people say that oh you, why didn't you come out before or oh, why didn't you come out later on or why didn't you never came out to somebody you know. But the whole point of coming out it's Finally, the moment when you can be free about yourself and be happier and make your life a change for the best, you know? And uh, I made a decision of actually coming out at 18, 19 because I knew that after high school, it was the perfect moment. I don't regret it at all, like I said. And um, it meant a lot to me because after I told my best friend, I went tell like I went to tell my other friends slowly then I went to tell my cousins who were like sisters to me everybody was really um, supportive of me they love me no matter what and for me those close people from my entourage that I had in my life was enough for the moment and honestly I didn't want to put my parents in any deception or whatever so I told myself you know what, let me just tell my parents and the rest of my whole family 
when I'll have my boyfriend, right? And oddly enough, um, I had my first boyfriend not long after that. I used to date this Puerto Rican, and the thing is, when we were official, I called, first I called my stepfather, and he actually was cool about it, because I told him, listen, I, I want to tell you that I am in a relationship, and I don't want you to find out by anybody else but me, but I just wanted to warn you that it was not a girl, it was a guy. And he told me, well, to be honest with you, uh, I don't care. I mean, if you're happy, I'm happy. And I'm like, really? You didn't doubt about anything or whatever? He's like, well, of course we already talked about it. But, you know, son, you're our, you are our son and we love you no matter what. It felt good, you know, hearing that. And my mom, I didn't want to tell her by the phone. She was at home. So she, I went to, when I got home, at that day, I told my mom face to face, you know. And she told me that, are you sure that's what you want? I'm like, yeah, I am happy. I am sure that's what I want. That's who I am. And I I hope you're not, I'm not a deception for you. She's like, of course not. You're not a deception for me. She told me. You will always be my son no matter what, and I love you for who you are. If it means that you are like that, then good for you if you're happy. And that's what I want, but I want to tell you that it's not going to be easy because as much as we are in 2013, back then, there still is a lot of people that are haters towards gays, you know? And I'm like, I know, and that is a, I think that is a sacrifice I want to do. I know that's the only way I would be happy is to be with a guy that I love and not a girl because like Lady Gaga said I was born that way <laughs> and I just it took me a while to get that you cannot change who you are but at the end of the day if you accept and come to terms to who you are as a person then you'll be you'll find peace within you that's for sure and I find that really may I just say that I find it really disgusting that people that go towards suicide as um, as an option, and it's really sad because if I think my experience, I had it easy compared to most people because I was grateful enough to have a good support and my entourage as my family and my friends. But for a fact, there's a lot of people in my situation that live through much, much more worse than. I can imagine, like, I'm sure some people tried to attempt suicide, some people got kicked out of the house, some people got beat up by high school or elementary school, and especially by their parents too at the same, at the same time, you know? Physical and verbal abuse. I think, in the back of my mind, I was so scared to go through it because I used to do a lot of research about what I had, and I found that it's because I was gay, you know? And I saw so many YouTube videos and so many things that happened in the news about gay people being bashed and gay and bullied and all that shit and I was scared you know just want to do a little quick message to everybody out there who in the LGBT community and they're struggling with themselves it doesn't matter if you're transgender gay lesbian or bisexual knowing that a lot of people are strong survivors and they continue life with who they are with dignity and pride in a good way I mean, that is something to look up to. That's really something that I really admire. And I feel really, really happy for them. It doesn't take two minutes, two hours, two days, two years, two months or whatever. It doesn't matter the time that you come out. I hope that you realize that if you're struggling with who you are and it's hard, one day you'll see that you'll... Uh, you'll have to find happiness somehow and when you'll find it the good will come out afterwards and uh, I guess that uh, even though like I said if you're 16 or 42 or doesn't matter the age or the time you'll find happiness if you believe in yourself and um, just be positive never give up and just Come to terms to who you are. Don't hate yourself for it. You were born that way.